All right, in this video, I'm gonna be going over the top three places that you may look to invest in Langley, BC. Where I think you'll see the most growth and where the best resale value will be going forward. So stick around to the end where I give you my number one place to invest in Langley. I'm that Agent Kelly. I talk about Canadian real estate in my local market of Abbotsford in the Fraser Valley. Langley, BC is a city within the Fraser Valley and I post every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. So if you get any value and entertainment from these videos, all that I ask is you subscribe to the channel, please, if you do like these videos and drop a like so I can get this video out to more people just like you who actually like this video. And if you'd like to chat about buying or selling real estate, you can scroll down, book yourself right into my calendar with that link I got there for a time that's convenient for you. Now these areas in Langley that I'm going to cover are kind of subjective based on the type of investor you are, what you're looking to buy and what your holding period is. Like obviously if you're buying acreages, you're probably not going to want to buy in these areas that I'm suggesting you buy it. These areas I picked out are for the most common type of investor that I come across, which is usually somebody looking to spend under 750,000. It's usually their first investment property or something like that. All right, so my number three spot, Walnut Grove. Walnut Grove is located right off of the Trans-Canada Highway on the north side of the highway. This area is super nice and has always been one of my favorites. Walnut Grove has a massive Cineplex theater that used to have, you know, one of those, I think it still does, has like one of those UFOs on the top. It's like iconic landmark that everybody knows of. It has tons of restaurants, different things to do. It's even got some nightlife uh, with Oak and Thorn, which is a pub that turns into basically a club at night. It used to be a shark club, uh, Sharks Club. Now it's an Oak and Thorn. Uh, that's a good time too. So this area does actually have some nightlife as well. It's got a rec center with one of those ridiculously high diving boards that we all used to go to as kids. And most of the homes here are built in the late 90s to early 2000s, so not that old of an area, still somewhat new. The overall look and feel of the area is nice and pleasant. I wouldn't say it's dirty and grungy at all. There's not a lot of homeless or anything like that. It's an overall really nice area. And here's the thing, with Walnut Grove, you're basically 35 to 40 minutes to downtown Vancouver without traffic because the highway's right there. So you're super accessible to downtown Vancouver from Walnut Grove. So works great for people who are commuting for their jobs or whatever it may be. It's a great family area, so the tenant pool is ideal. Usually families have, you know, higher paying jobs, they stay in the homes for longer, so on and so forth. They give you less trouble most of the time, so good tenant pool in Walnut Grove as well. And in Walnut Grove, the aggregate price of a detached home is 1.287 million. The aggregate price of a townhome is 813,000, and the aggregate price of a apartment is 563,000. So you can get into a nice place for cheaper than these prices, but this is just aggregate pricing. Aggregate pricing is basically all of the homes combined. So all detached homes combined, and it's somewhat of an average price is the aggregate pricing. My number two spot for you to invest in in Langley, is Langley City. Langley City is basically the core downtown of Langley. And if you were going to hold this investment property for 20 years, this would probably be my number one spot. But because most investors end up liquidating their properties within eight to 12 years, I have this as number two for this video. This is an older area and it needs some cleaning up to be honest. There is quite a bit of homeless here, drug usage, people littering, whatever it may be. It's not the cleanest area. However, within that always comes opportunity because you want to be buying in an area before everybody else wants to buy in that area, correct? And the homes here right now are comparatively cheap in comparison to the rest of Langley. We're about 10% cheaper than Walnut Grove and nearly 15% cheaper than Willoughby Heights, which is just, you know, 10 minutes down the road. The SkyTrain will be coming to Langley City by 2028, if you guys didn't know. And the statistic out there is that homes located within 500 meters of a SkyTrain station appreciate 15% better than those that are not located within 50, uh, 500 meters of a SkyTrain station. And the reason why that is, is because when you add in the SkyTrain station, it increases the buyer pool due to people wanting to live close to the SkyTrain station because it provides more amenities or they're commuting for work. The buyer pool increases, which then increases demand for the unit. And if the demand goes up and the supply stays the same, then the price has to go up. So although this area is rougher right now, I expect it to start getting gentrified exactly what's been happening to Surrey Central for the last seven years. If you guys remember Surrey Central, seven years ago, it wasn't even called Surrey Central. It was called Wally. Everyone thought it was an absolutely disgusting area. Now it's getting completely gentrified, brand new towers, bringing luxury towers to that area, so on and so forth. And I expect the exact same thing to 
to happen to Langley City. Langley City is currently not as accessible to downtown Vancouver as other areas in this list or other areas in Langley. Sometimes you can be about a 20 minute drive just to the highway if there's traffic and there usually is on 200th Street. However, I believe that's why homes in this area are priced cheaper than everywhere else in Langley and why the price of them will likely go up once they bring the SkyTrain station and a lot of people don't actually have to commute to the highway, they can just hop on the SkyTrain. In Langley City, the aggregate price of a detached home is 1.41 million, a townhome is 749,000, an apartment is 527,000. So you'll see that in Langley City, the price of a home is about 10% cheaper than Walnut Grove. However, the rents are very similar. Like you're definitely not getting 10% less rent in Langley City than you would in Walnut Grove. Maybe a little bit less, but relatively the same. So you're paying less and you're getting roughly the same amount of rent for Langley City as well. The future growth potential of Langley City is probably bigger than Walnut Grove, I would say. However, with Walnut Grove, it's a safer investment because you get a better tenant pool right now. And my number one spot, Willoughby Heights. So if you're like every other investor who just wants a safe investment with a good return, good tenant pool, in a good area, in and out of your investment within a decade, this is probably the area for you. Willoughby Heights is just as accessible to downtown Vancouver as Walnut Grove, except we're on the south side of the highway, not the north side. Everything in this area is pretty well brand new. I think it was like just 15 years ago, that entire sub area was basically just grass. This area is growing incredibly fast. And what I love about this area the most is it's a really young demographic moving into this area. Young families, young couples, a lot of people from my high school just bought condos in that area. Tons of great schools, gyms, restaurants, accessible to downtown. You get all of the amenities that you would normally get from Walnut Grove, except you know, an extra five minutes down the road, except you're just in a newer, more updated area. And this area just brought the first high rises to Langley called The Towers. They sold out in late 2021. There was a three hour lineup just to get in a sales center and they basically sold out all 500 units in like 15 minutes or something ridiculous like that. And those towers are gonna be sick because from those towers, right against the highway, you'll basically have unobstructed views of the Fraser Valley and all the way to Vancouver because there's nothing else tall enough to obstruct your views in Langley. So this area is doing big things. They're completely changing the landscape of Langley and I expect them to continue to do so going forward in the future. Rents in this area are about 10% higher than they are in the rest of Langley. However, the prices are much, much higher as well to reflect how nice of an area it actually is. So this area being the cream of the crop for Langley, aggregate detached home is $1.433 million still. Townhomes are 842,000 and apartments are 616,000. So that is that honorable mention Murrayville. So Murrayville is a 1990s area that's located about 10 minutes away from Langley City. I like that area as well, but I personally would rather buy in West Abbotsford than I would in Murrayville. But if you're stuck on Langley, Mur uh, Murrayville is another place that I would look. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, like the video. If you like my channel, subscribe to it. And if you'd like to talk about real estate buying or selling, scroll down, book yourself into my calendar, and we can have a chat. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Peace.